There we go. Well, that's good. Because I could be way over there and you can still hear me. All right. What do you think, bud? So, I'm going to move him around a little bit because prior to me getting in here with him, he decided to roll. The ground's wet. And I want to see if I can't get him to work himself into a drier condition for me. Um, I want to get his canter a little more solid with and without the saddle. And then obviously with nothing in the saddle and then of course me in the saddle. So that's what we're hoping to do today. Last time we attempted this, the uh, group of horses that are stabled next to us in the adjacent paddock, um, were kind of looking to be up to no good, feeling good, feeling frisky, and they were kind of creating a little bit of an energy that I didn't want to deal with. And he fed off of that, which I expected, and I made an executive decision to not continue trying to get hurt. So I'm gonna pick a spot to make kind of my pattern where I'm going to ask for it now and where I'm going to ask for it with the saddle on and where I'm going to ask for it with me in the saddle. So right about here. I'm going to ask him to trot. Trot. So I can work on that. Nope. He's not wrong for asking me what do I want. You can get him trotting again. So I'm not asking him to canter yet. I'm gonna ask him to canter in the exact same spot. So right now. Just gonna encourage him to keep going. I'm gonna ask him to trot. Let him trot a lap. And I'm gonna ask him to canter again in that same spot. I'm trying to just help him develop a pattern. So he has something to anticipate. That single kiss is just to encourage him to ask him to trot. The single kiss is just to encourage him to keep going. It's offered to him before he breaks gate. Again. Ask him to trot. Trot. Oh, he was bent and I had to go around the mounting block. So it's kind of not his fault. I'm just going to say keep going. You're okay. Keep going. Good. Good. Nope. So we, I just want the walk now. He's being a little sensitive. There you go. Nope. Nope. I just want the walk now. Walk. Walk. So he's being, there you go. Oh, almost. Being sensitive. He's kind of all in or nothing. You're okay. Keep going. Keep going. Walk. Good. Keep going. Doesn't mean anything. You're a good boy. All right. He's trying very hard, so I'm going to go ahead and change directions with him and just get him out going again. So I'll pick a spot in this direction that I'll develop a pattern for him. So I'm going to choose over here. Ask him to trot. Pick that same spot so I can develop a pattern. Ask him to trot. Well, keep trotting. So he's got a lot of get up and go right now. I don't want that. There we go. I don't want him to anticipate until he's actually asked for it. So that's why there's occasional lap of just trotting. So I'm pretty happy with that. So this time I am going to ask him to stop.
Yeah, those bugs were chewing on your face, huh? So Drush gonna brush the little parts of him that dried off a little bit. You're okay. Don't be jumpy. You're okay. You're okay. Don't really like putting a saddle on a wet horse, so I'm trying very hard to encourage this to dry before we saddle him, but it didn't it worked a little bit. So I'm going to step this foot forward. Make sure your girth area is always clean. I'm what you call a princess in the pea when it comes to things in my shoes. So I always think of that when I think of what's under your saddle, what's under your girth. I don't like having to take my shoe off 10 times to find that one little pebble. So I try to make sure that I don't do that to the horse either. You're fine. You didn't do anything wrong. I know I scared you. I've been putting it up one more. I probably know that. Yeah, it's an annual thing. I don't know if it's a birthday party or what. It's annual. They watched the bounce house go up and everything and it, it didn't bother them but I noticed that they have those things those bubble things that you get in and you either roll around or bang into each other that coming into the vision in the last second 
that's certainly a desensitizing exercise. However, I don't know how ready we are for that. So I was kind of hoping to get this done before they all do that. Cause see, he, somebody just walked out, he noticed. So the activities are gonna Okay, so again, just real briefly, I'm going to let them know where I want them to canter with the saddle on, and then obviously the next step is with me in the saddle. So I'm going to ask him to go out and trot. He's not really being bad. This could be interpreted as bad, but it's not. Try. Good. So hopefully we can keep the try. Just keep him motivated, which he's kind of decided that there's stop signs along the way. So I'd like to get him kind of, again, there's the pattern. So I don't want to yell at him for the pattern. I want to yell at him for this at this point, because this is becoming a pattern. firing good come on there you're fine you're fine just keep going there you go there you go Woo. nope I didn't tell you to stop All right, I'm going to ask him to stop because he's... working himself up kind of over nothing. And if he's not willing to canter, might as well take advantage of it in the saddle. Got yourself all worked up. I hear you breathing in my ear. Thought maybe he had something to say. I oh, know, buddy. I don't need a bigger helmet for normal use, but it's like pinching all this stuff in here. Can't make him wrong for that. 
he tried. I am going to go ahead and ask him to back up now, though. Back. You're all right. You're all right. Now I'm going to ask him to over. Uh, 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 uh. Come here. I got hung up on the spot on the saddle. There we go. You did good. You did good. I'm very proud of you. You did good. Now can you do it the other way? There. You're right. You're right. Okay. Step up. Step up. There you go. You're right. Right there is perfect. He's a good boy. Right? He's a good boy. So I shortened my stirrups. Because this isn't a saddle I normally use. So I'm hoping I didn't do them too short. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So I'm not sure because they're making more noise than they've been making or maybe I'm a little more up on his withers than I've been sitting before. Just keep reminding him I know how to stop him. Starting to think naughty thoughts. Just help him work through that. Having a little trouble with the stirrup. You're fine. You're fine. Look at me. Look at me. You're fine. Hey, 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 hey. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. You're fine. You're fine. I'll figure out my stirrup in a second. You're fine. So, I got my foot kind of in one stirrup and not really in the other. I don't have really a way to fix that without bending down, which is kind of why I tried to change my stirrups. That's better. Not, not good, but better. So I think I'm a little further up on him than I've been sitting on him. So he might be having his moments of panic because of that. I'm just gonna let him move his feet. Forward, forward motion is your friend. Except for right now. So, just gonna keep reminding him I know how to stop him. Ho, 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 ho. Very dizzy. Ho. Oh, you're fine. I'm dizzy too. How about you? What's that all about, buddy? Huh? I know. You didn't want to be bad. I know. It's not good riding in a saddle you're not used to. Saddle making a lot more noise than usual. Is that the problem? What's the problem today? Huh? What's the malfunction today? Mm -hmm. Feels funny with a wet back. You're fine. Hey, hey, hey. You're fine. You're fine. 
you're fine. You're fine. What's the matter today? Huh? You're fine. So I'm trying to just let him know that if he walks quiet, I'll be nice and leave him alone and stop trying to twist him in half. Trying to give him his head. Let him figure this out. For some reason today, this is a lot worse than it's been. Just trying to get him to walk without bending him in half because I don't want to bend him in half because he's He's the horse that likes to go up when he's bent in half, so I'm trying to control him a little bit without bending him completely in half and just telling him, hey, remember, I, I'm up here, we're here together, and I'd love to reach down and tell him that, but he's kind of making me feel like I need both my hands. There you go. Good job. You're right. I'm trying to reassure him. Trying to let him get a little straighter. Getting himself worried again. Trying to give him as much freedom as I can with his head. But I'm not asking for any of that faster movement. So I'm just going to keep asking him to come back down to the walk. Even if I have to run him into the mounting block, if that's how I'm going to be safe, that's how I'm going to be safe. Good job. Good boy. Good job. sure what's wrong with him today. Very sensitive to every movement up here with the reins. And that last dismount, he kind of showed me that I might be working on being in trouble in my next dismount as well. So I'm just trying to settle him down. And then we're gonna go back and do it again. I'm glad he's starting to lick and chew. See if I can hoe him when he would normally pick up the speed.
There we go. So now we've got settled down in this direction. Now it's all new again in this direction. So let's see if we can stay quiet in this direction now. Nope. See if I can get him to turn when I ask him to turn in my body. So he's ready to trot on his own terms, but I really would like to trot him on my terms. And I want to be careful how loudly I ask him so I might just try to ask him in my body first so that way I don't have to give him any noise to add to his moment of panic here Noisy saddle boy. All kinds of things to work with, huh? So I'm gonna see if I can ask him in my body if we can trot. I'm gonna ask again. <laughs> 